In this movie, we will create a floor finish of the ground floor and the stairs. See dimensions DWG for all distances and dimensions. Continue working in your own model or download step 3 DWG. Let's start with the stairs. Download stair 0 DWG which contains the base geometry for the stairs. The stairs are composed of two flights. Extrude the profiles to create a concrete part of the two stair flights. Attach the lower flight to the upper flight and use the union command in the quad to unify both parts. Choose Select Faces in the Selection Mode toolbar. Hover over the upper part of the landing and choose Extrude in the Quad. Move the cursor upwards and type 40 to define the thickness of the thread. Repeat this procedure on the first step of the upper flight and the lower part of the landing. Now we create a nose on the threads. Hover over the vertical face of the thread and choose Push-Pull in the quad. Type 50 and press Enter. Create a thread on the first step also. Extrude the top face over 40 mm, then create a 50 mm nosing. Select the four threads and place them on the steps layer. Copy the first thread to the other steps. Select the thread and choose Copy in the quad. Then define the origin and destination point. Type R to create a series of copies over the same distance. The copies are created dynamically when you move the cursor. Type 6 to specify the number of copies. Repeat the copy procedure for the upper flight. Click when the desired number of copies displays. The base geometry for the handrail sits on the construction handrail layer. Move the lower polyline over a distance of 200 mm. Select both polylines. Move the bottom end of the lower polyline to the first thread. We will use temporary tracking points here. First snap to the midpoint of the side edge of the thread, then move the cursor, type 100 and press enter twice. Draw a circle with a 20 mm radius.
launch the sweep command and select the circle. Press Enter to stop selecting profiles and click on the lower polyline to create the first part of the handrail. Repeat this procedure to create the upper part of the handrail. Save the drawing as stair DWG, then close the drawing. Switch off the dynamic UCS and align the coordinate system with the bottom face of the walls. Type UCS at the command prompt, then snap to a bottom corner of a wall and press Enter. Choose Enable Boundary Detection. BrickSCAD now detects closed boundaries in the XY plane of the current coordinate system. Make layer floor zero current. Move the cursor to the various rooms, type 100 in the height field and extrude solids representing the ground floor finish. Insert the stairs we created in a separate drawing as a block in our model. Start the insert command, click the browse button and select the stairs drawing. The insertion point and rotation angle will be specified in the model. Click the insertion point and type 90 as the rotation angle. In the next movie, you will learn how to insert the exterior windows on the ground floor. Thank you for watching this tutorial movie. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.